If you want to talk about the uber rich, then look no further than the Brunei royal family. You may not have heard of the country of Brunei, but it is composed of descendants of the first sultan and dates back to the 14th century. Now, as I'm sure you know, sultans love gold, as it signifies wealth and riches. Well, let's just say metaphorically that the Brunei royal family have a lot of gold because their wealth stretches far into the billions and you're about to discover all of their royal luxuries. In today's video, we'll take a sneak peek into the life of the Brunei royal family and see exactly how they live. But before we get started, we'd really appreciate it if you smashed that subscribe button and turned on the notifications bell. Brunei is a tiny country located near Indonesia. They may be tiny, but their assets sure are not. For those that know Brunei, the name alone conjures images of unimaginable wealth, oil, and a young royal heartthrob. Brunei is one of the few countries that is still ruled by a monarch. His name is Hassan al Balkia. The Brunei royal family can trace their lineage back to the 1400s, and it is known that Muhammad Shah was the first Sultan of Brunei. In 1967, Hassan al Balkia became the 29th Sultan, and he is still the ruler till today. That's the thing about monarchy, you get to stay in power for many years. He's the second oldest reigning monarch, just after Queen Elizabeth II. After taking over from his father, Sultan Hassanal transformed the country of Brunei. At one point, the Sultan was regarded as the world's richest man. In the early 1990s, his wealth was estimated at $40 billion, and even as of today, his net worth and assets are around $28 billion. He held the position of the world's richest man for many years until he was displaced by Bill Gates. The land of Brunei has oil reserves and natural gas, and it is the Sultan's biggest source of income. He is known to flaunt his wealth on any and everything money can buy. However, despite his show of wealth, Sultan Hassanal has nurtured Brunei's oil and gas. Interestingly, he earns $100 a second from oil earnings and investments. That means he earns $8.6 million a day, which if rounded up is just over $3 billion a year. He has also created an enviably high standard of living. Sultan Hassanal has given the citizens of Brunei access to free education and healthcare. And to make things better, it is a tax-free society. It is reported that whenever the Sultan is feeling benevolent, he gives Bruneian citizens a cash bonus straight into their bank accounts. Now let's take a look at how the Sultan spends his wealth. The Sultan's palace is made up of gold. Oh yeah, gold. The dome of this palace is studded with 22 carat gold, and the entire palace is spread over an area of 2 million square feet, costing $350 million at the time. A palace such as this obviously has a name. The Istara Nurul Iman Palace has more than 1,700 rooms, 257 bathrooms, gold-plated escalators, and five swimming pools. The palace also has a 110-car garage, all for the Sultan's cars, and at one time had air-conditioned stables for his 200 Argentine polo ponies. It has a banquet hall that can accommodate up to 5,000 guests, and a mosque that can accommodate 1,500 people. When it comes to luxury cars, the Sultan has very few rivals, as he owns 7,000 luxury cars. His private collection boasts 600 Mercedes, including a gold-plated one. He also has 600 bulletproof Rolls Royces, over 300 Ferraris, 134 Kerns eggs, 11 McLaren F1s, BMWs, 6 Dower Porsche 962 LMs, Lamborghinis, Bentleys, Jaguars, and many other brands. His garage is divided into wings to keep his different brands. It's a sight to behold. Because of his love for supercars, and the fact that money is no object, the Sultan has many custom-made cars. He also has cars we've probably never seen or heard of. For instance, the Ferrari FX. This supercar is based on the F512M, but enclosed with an adventurous-looking body and a button-shift semi-automatic developed by ProDrive. Of course, he has his own collection of jets. The Sultan boasts a Boeing 747-400, Boeing 767-200, and Airbus A340-200. The Boeing 747-400 is a palace in itself. It has a living room, a bedroom with details of gold, a separate remote control desk, and some top-notch modern facilities. The Sultan's brother, Prince Jeffrey, is also known for his extravagance. He, along with the Sultan, have been known to race through the streets in their Ferraris, sail oceans with their yachts, 
products, import plane loads of polo ponies, and also snag expensive real estate like Monopoly pieces on the board. They're said to own five-star hotels as well as international companies. The brothers travel around with entourages of up to 100 people, and they've been known to empty entire inventories of stores, such as Armani and Versace, buying 100 suits of the same color at the same time. In the mid-90s, the Sultan and his brother were credited with supplying half of Rolls-Royce sales income. Playboy Jeffrey Bolkia has a London residence in the UK and was once the most expensive private house, worth $203 million. However, Prince Jeffrey's spending habits landed him in trouble with the Sultan, who accused him of embezzling $15 billion from the Brunei Investment Agency. The Sultan and his family have been known to throw lavish parties, polo games and horse racing events. To enjoy with his friends, the Sultan once hired Elton John, Diana Ross, Stevie Wonder, Bon Jovi, and Tina Turner to perform in one evening. The Sultan is not afraid to spend his money lavishly, as he's made some ridiculous purchases. He doesn't think twice about getting a haircut, as he spends $21,000 for each haircut. His badminton coach earns $2 million, and he spends close to the same amount on acupuncture and massages. As much as the Sultan loves to spend and have fun, he's also quite controversial. He introduced a brutal new criminal code in his tiny country. The law he set permit death by stoning for gay sex, rape and adultery, amputation for theft and public flogging for abortion. Also, failing to pray on Friday may incur huge fines or even jail time. These laws have been described as cruel by the United Nations. And it is surprising to see that the Sultan, who lives a roller coaster extravagant lifestyle, takes such an unconservative, hardline approach to the laws in his kingdom. The laws, however, apply only to Muslims, which make up about two-thirds of Brunei's population. In Brunei's government's defense, they said that the Sharia Penal Code is aimed to educate, respect, and protect the legitimate rights of all individuals, society, or nationality of faiths and race. Because Islam allows polygamy, he has three wives. In 1966, he married his cousin Raja Estiri Pengrian Anak Haja Saleh and two other wives, but has divorced the two other wives, stripping them of all their royal titles. From his three wives, the Sultan has 12 children. However, Prince Abdul Maitin is a heartthrob to the ladies. He is the 10th child and fourth son to the Sultan from his second ex-wife. Prince Maitin, just like his father and uncle, knows how to have a good time and spend some real cash. He spends his money buying exotic animals such as tiger cubs and ocelots. He is known to flaunt them all over his social media pages, calling himself the father of tigers. He flies private planes and loves spending time on beautiful beaches with his pet tigers. The prince is also an avid flyer. He was recently awarded the RAF wing badge. He trained at the Defense Helicopter Flying School, and with his father owning a helicopter, he can always practice. The prince, who loves to fly, says his next goal is to become a Black Hawk helicopter pilot. He's also a soldier and hosts the rank of second lieutenant. He earned this rank in 2011 at the commissioning officer course at the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. Prince Maitin went through a very tough training process where he was made to dig up trenches for three days straight without sleep. He also had to walk up seven mountains within 24 hours, but he loves the drills and hardship because it keeps him strong mentally and physically. After graduating from the academy, he called it the greatest thing he'd ever done. He graduated from the University of London's School of Oriental and African Studies. From there, he studied a master's degree in arts. As much as he was born into a rich family, Prince Maitin is a simple guy at heart. He loves to spend time with his friends, hanging out and watching movies. He says that despite the luxuries that come with his position, he remains grounded and humble at the same time. If you knew the prince before this, you'd know that he absolutely loves sports. Growing up as a child, his idol was David Beckham. He enjoys snorkeling, skydiving, golfing, skiing, rowing, boxing, badminton, and horseback riding. He also loves polo and says he enjoys the complexity of the sport, along with the dexterity, multitasking, and control that are required. He represented Brunei at the Southeast Asian Games in 2017, alongside his sister, Princess Azema Nimatul Bolkia, 
Mateen, as he is referred to on his social media pages, loves to wear insanely expensive watches and is often surrounded by some flashy cars. He is quite popular on Instagram with over a million followers, and it's safe to say the ladies love him. It has been said that if his life is anything to go by, the 30-year-old prince is destined for great things. The Brunei royal family may not be oh so popular, but they sure know how to flaunt their wealth and live largely. Quick fire question. How long does it take the Sultan of Brunei to make $1 million? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and check out our other videos. We post luxury content every single week, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Goodbye, Lux Cats. Until next time.